Hi everyone, it's Eric and welcome to my review of the Huawei Honor Holly. This is a budget smartphone that's priced just under £100. What do you get for that price? Well in this video we are going to find out. Let's get to it. Now I'll mention the specs as I go on, but first let's start off with the bad aspects of this phone. Now it comes shipped with Android version 4.4.2 KitKat, which is okay, but the real downer is that it comes with Huawei's Emotion UI. Straight up, this is one of the worst skins I've seen on Android. It's functional, but it pretty much turns your home screen into an iPhone. The app drawer is gone and everything is all laid out on the home screen. If you're switching from an iPhone, then this will be a great transition for you, but for previous Android users like myself, you really won't get along with this at all. Also, the skinned icons really don't go well at all with the Google apps. The other problem was the touch sensitive buttons. This is actually quite surprising as it's literally the first set of touch sensitive buttons that gets pretty much everything wrong. They don't light up and they have zero tactile feedback. I've used this phone for a few weeks now and I know where the buttons are but when you're in a room with less than decent lighting you'll find yourself tapping along the bottom of the phone like a madman. Also as a menu button which is really rather pointless as the third button on the majority of Android devices nowadays is a multitasking button. Now my third and final problem is the screen. Now I don't mean when the screen is on, I mean the actual material used on the display itself. It feels really plasticky and unpleasant to use. I know with budget handsets you need to make sacrifices, but this is a major give as interacting with the phone is not as enjoyable an experience as it should be. The screen feels very flat and sliding my finger along it just feels like a chore. I really think the screen should have been made of a better quality material. Now that's all of my bad points out of the way, don't go away as now we will take a look at the really good aspects of this phone. The build quality is really good for a phone at this price point. Yes, it's made of plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. It has a nicer grip and doesn't feel slippery like you would expect. The best way to describe it is that it feels better than the plastic used in the previous Galaxy S smartphones. This doesn't feel like a cheap smartphone by any means. It also has a removable battery and it even has a micro SD card slot. I mean, how many smartphones can you say have these anymore? Even Samsung recently abandoned it, but I am so glad that Huawei have kept it. Next up is the display. First off, it's great to see a 5 inch screen size on a budget handset and it's also running at a decent resolution, 1280 by 720 Now this is by no means the best screen in the world, but as far as budget smartphones go, it's really quite impressive. The colours are nice, the contrast is decent and all around is a good quality display. Consuming media is a great experience. The speaker is just standard though, it's flat and doesn't go very loud, but it's what you would expect when you buy a smartphone in this price range, so I'll let it pass. Now it's time to talk about the performance and boy we really need to talk about this because it is awesome. It has a quad core 1.3GHz processor and that is complemented with 1GB of RAM. The performance speaks for itself. Navigating around the operating system is a smooth and seamless experience and all the games I've thrown at the device all run very well. Even some of the latest games run without any problems. The accelerometer needs some tweaking as it's not sensitive enough when I play games like Asphalt 8 and to make hard turns I'm practically turning the phone on its side, but on the whole I've been more than impressed with both the general and gaming performance. Now I saved the best till last. In my opinion this is the Honor Holly's main selling point and that is the 8 megapixel camera. You heard me right, this sub £100 smartphone has an 8 megapixel camera. Now when I first used the camera, I wasn't impressed with the shots as they came out blurry, but once I manually touched to focus, the level of detail that Honor Holly picked up was astonishing. The best part is that it keeps the subject in focus and blurs the background. It really has a great depth of field and that gives the photos a DSLR look to them and to achieve this level of quality on a budget smartphone is just amazing. The HDR mode is a bit of a pain as it wants you to keep the phone absolutely still and not even move a millimeter, otherwise you'll get a double shot like this. But that really is a nitpick though as you're lucky to get a camera at all in smartphones in this price range, but Huawei have really outdone themselves in this department. It also has 1080p video capture which is not as impressive as the actual photos but is still a very nice addition to have. The 2 megapixel front facing camera is really not worth talking about, but again you're lucky to even have it in the first place. So overall guys, the Huawei Honor Holly is a decent budget smartphone, especially if you want a good camera phone without breaking the bank, but it does need some tweaking before I can fully recommend it. My advice to Huawei is to include a backlight and give tactile feedback to the touch sensitive buttons, or better yet, change them to on screen. And construct the screen out of a better quality material and change the appearance of your emotion UI, maybe to something that complements the Android design and makes it look and function better. If you do that, then without a doubt, Huawei will be a more recognisable and popular brand to the masses. 
So that's about it from me guys, thank you very much for watching, a big thanks must go out to the really nice guys at Huawei for sending me this handset over to review, it has been an absolute pleasure working with them. Thanks again for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.